Good morning, my fiber friends. So today we are going to talk about how to make a DIY Turkish spindle. Um, so this is actually the one that I learned on. This is my spinning from years ago. Um, and this is called the turtle or the cob. And you can see how nicely it's laid on. Um, so to take it apart, we pull out the center part. undo my rubber bands and we can pull these parts out the legs out from the turtle and then we have a center pull ball so here is one of the pieces and well here's the other piece but we could pull it out like that, and then we can ply from the turtle itself. So, how to create it. We need five chopsticks. These are plastic chopsticks. Wooden ones will work, however it might slide easier on the plastic and not catch as much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie a rubber band around each side. I make them somewhat loose so we can slide the center part in. So I create one side. I create the other leg. And these are just hair ties and chopsticks. Now, we have two legs, and I can somewhat pull them apart because the rubber bands are moderately loose. And then what I do is there's a thinner part and a thicker part. I slide the thinner part, the tapered end, through my chopsticks. And then the other one lays on top. And I like a bottom whirl Turkish spindle, so I slide it towards the other end. Now I'm going to take some scrap yarn. I will secure the scrap yarn on one of these tails through the rubber bands to hold it in place. To wind the Turkish spindle, we go over two, under one, over two, under one. Now this stabilizes the Turkish spindle. You can see it kind of holds it together. And then to get it started, we make a half hitch. So I take this and I loop the yarn over itself to make a loop. Make a loop and then feed that over. So the yarn feeding up from the bottom goes over the yarn going up through the top. And then that's how you make your tur Turkish spindle. And what I like to do is I like to start from a loop. I spin from a loop. So I tie this in a knot. I don't know the name of this one. <laughs> And that's what I spin off of. I just create a loop and I spin off of this. If this is too long for you, we just undo the loop. And again, over two, under one. Over two, under one. Over two, under one. And I have a short loop. Make my little hitch knot, and I can start spinning off of this. This is a DIY Turkish spindle, the first step in learning how to spin.